episode of a series that I'm going to call the H12 Adventures. Yeah, uh, mainly because I'm in my Ascend H12 kayak and I'm having an adventure. Alright, so today we're fishing Wheeler Lake uh, right outside of Decatur, Alabama. Uh, started off the morning fishing some frogs, uh, moving into some laydowns. So I think I'm going to switch over to the wacky worm. Big, a big goal for today is to catch a fish on a plastic worm. I've never done that. I keep watching people on YouTube do it all the time. I think I've picked up some new techniques. So that's wow, biting top water all over. Probably pamphlets. So. All right, let's get started.
happened was <clears throat> I found this area right here because I was coming up the shore and I know I said I was going to fish worms but I switched back to the frog and that's when I caught that fish that you just saw so I just want to mention if you watch my old school versus new school lures challenge video you saw that the Lunker Heart Hut, whatever, the frog, I was fishing with the black and white one, and it didn't catch anything, and so far today, I've caught two fish on it, and one of them was 17 and a half inches long, which is pretty awesome, it was big, it was heavy, I'm estimating, I don't know, I don't know how much it weighs, I'm not a fish weighing type person, I'm a length guy, but, yeah, yeah, it, it was fun. It was a lot of fun, and <clears throat> that's just point out. Using the frog in the area where it's supposed to be used, the frog does good. <laughs> Who would have thought, right? So, I think I'm gonna go back to the wacky worm, continue down this shoreline, right uh, there. Yeah, that one. And I'm, I'm gonna keep fishing because so far we're doing so good. So, yeah, we're going from the frog back to the wacky worm. I don't know, we'll see what happens. I got a crankbait tied on too for deeper water, but it seems like the fish are still up kind of shallow. It hasn't really gotten hot yet, so once it gets hot, I think I'm going to go to a um, shaky head worm and maybe a, I don't, know, I don't know, other than that, I don't know. I think the main thing I'm going to work on is a shaky head worm. All right, well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep fishing. I'm pumped. That was a nice big fish. And I don't know if you noticed in the video, but that sucker just spewed crayfish bits all over the inside of my kayak. It smells like rotting fish right now, but in a good way. I need to fish more. Why am I not recording? Oh, yeah. Woo! <laughs> Another one. Look at that. All right, guys, so literally like <clears throat> three casts after switching to the wacky worm. I got a fish. That is my first plastic worm fish. All right. Let me explain. I have fished my entire life. I have never specifically bass fished or fished for me. I've been a bass fisherman, I guess you could say. Um, growing, up nor growing up up north, you know, the big fish for me were like musky and pike and walleye. So a lot of the bass tactics didn't apply. And I wasn't really into the whole bass fishing thing. And when I moved to Alabama, I kind of stopped fishing for a while because that's really all there was to do was bass fishing. There, there were no musky and pike. And when you go from catching musky and pike, bass are pretty darn boring. And I think I just didn't give it enough shot. 
So here recently, I've been wanting to up my bass fishing game. I wanted to work on trying new artificials and trying new techniques. And this was one. This was one of the things I wanted to get. I wanted to get a worm fish. So I'm gonna put another one on the hook. I'm gonna get back to fishing. It's starting to warm up. So I, I gotta figure out how to change my pattern here. I think the frog's gonna go bye bye for the rest of the day. We're probably gonna be working worms, jigs, and stuff like that. So yeah. Oh man, I am so pumped so pumped so excited that was awesome it almost hooked my foot too flipping around in here so pumped let's get back to fishing <laughs> guys well that's it for today's episode thanks for watching it was a blast out there fishing got some top water action on the frogs caught my first fish on a plastic worm it was pretty cool hey don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment you know if you think I did anything wrong if you have any tips for me I greatly appreciate it like I said thanks for watching don't forget get out and fish more People look at you so weird when you're walking around talking to a camera. It's like they've never seen YouTube before. Yeah. So, <clears throat> by this point, you're probably wondering, why haven't we seen him catch a fish in a while? He was doing so great. And why is he floating next to a giant pipe? The pipe continues that way. And that way. That pipe is supposed to be over there. On the other side of that pipe is a bridge. And on the other side of that bridge is more water. And what looked to be a very sweet area that my whole plan was to get to that today. Well, El Pipo kind of canceled that. I could probably hop out. Ah! I have to try and hop over this thing, but I don't feel like it. It's kind of annoying. I mean, look at that. Look at all of that. All of that beautiful, beautiful shoreline. That is blocked because of somebody's giant pipe got loose.